Hello fellow farmers, this is Wade from K Farmhouse bringing you another exciting war recap. Um, sadly, this is going to be uh, my last regular war for a while. I just hit Town Hall 11 and my philosophy when I hit these high level, when I hit a new Town Hall is to get my heroes upgraded before I do anything else. So that's what I'm doing. I got my heroes dropped. I will pre be participating in CWL in the uh, K Farm K2 friendly uh, next month, but other than that, I will uh, be a non participant for a while. So, um, I'll still be bringing videos, so don't worry about that. You guys will still be getting your recaps. So, let's go ahead and get started. We had a really great war, almost a perfect war. You know, I'm not mad at anybody for not having a perfect war as long as we win, as long as you get the W, that's what matters. First attack we're going to look at here is from Joe, and this is a boho. Now this isn't uh, a really high level base, granted. However, Joe is not a maxed out uh, Town Hall uh, 10 as seen by his heroes, so I thought we'd give him some credit here and show his attack. Comes in with the wall wrecker. Uh, lots of bowlers. You don't normally see that many bowlers on a boho. And he's got healers on them too, which really makes a great difference and helps save those those bowlers and get them further into the base. He does have uh, Town Hall 10 Teslas, so there is that going for him for this base. But um, his kill squad gets real deep in here. Uh, that Archer Queen is doing nothing to help with that Electro Dragon which is really annoying, uh, but that kill squad's doing work. Uh, here comes some hogs in. He's got his pathing down. He knows exactly where they're going to be going because his kill squad's done great work, and that's where he's at now. Arch Queen takes out that Inferno. Now he knows where everything is going, and... I mean, these level six hogs against these defenses aren't going to do anything. Um, the only the bomb tower and wizard tower, the only bomb towers and wizard tower, the only thing left that could really be a problem, just tearing through them like tissue paper. Uh, for anyone that's seen the movie Galaxy Quest, you'll know what I'm talking about there. Uh, so really great job on the attack. Has one little hero wizard doing some cleanup down here. Uh, lots of hogs left for cleanup. Archer Queen hadn't even popped that ability, and he swagged to heal. He'll use that at the end. So we'll speed it up a little bit and get through this attack. Really well done, Joe. I'm going to say in this video, just a FYI, I am terrible about getting, you know, if someone's a, a male or a female knowing you know, saying the right thing. So if I call you a, a, if I say he when you're a she, or if I say she when you're a he, I apologize. Um, I'm not doing that out of spite. Uh, just let me know so I can remember next time uh, to get it right. So the next one we're gonna look at is, um, this is number 14 from Brewmaster. And this is a Bow Witch. This is the uh, King Consort. I don't know how much you guys know about uh, royal etiquette and all that stuff, but uh, Queen Elizabeth, her husband, is not the king, technically. He is the King Consort. So, uh, Brew is the uh, husband of Queen JJ. So, he is the King Consort. So, just... Little things making fun of people going through this base. Did not get that freeze on all the balloons probably like he wanted. Um, but he does drop his uh, the um, poison. And probably left that inferno tower up a little bit longer than what he wanted to. Uh, to be honest. But he's got a mass of bowlers and the barb king down here. They're going to wreck this side of the base. He still has a rage, two heals and a rage. So he's in great shape right now. He had Valks in that wall wrecker uh, to get through. So this Archer Queen is drawing everything in. She's gone now. 
single target inferno which is i mean it'll tear some skeletons up but it's not that big of a deal and they're going to go in here and get rid of that inferno tower now so now it's just a matter of cleanup he raised his barb king raised his valks and he swagged this heel i think he uses it even though he doesn't really need it yeah he used it here he honestly he didn't need it but he used it anyway so great job there brew good attack and um moving on to the next one now i will say for me i um i did not do well in this war and so you won't see any of my attacks so no bragging here next we're going to see tequila mockingbird tequila does a bow witch with bowlers in the wall wrecker does a great job of funneling here excuse my yawning uh does a great job with this funneling gets everything going where he wants it to go nice use of the giants to tank and here comes that wall wrecker in just it's gonna rip right through this base um, lots of bow witches in this war i don't know that seems to be a town hall nine i always remember that being a town hall nine thing but a lot of people use it now there goes that inferno this kill squad absolutely rips this base to pieces um as you will see in a minute once he gets into the town hall um, and he has that jump there to assist the archer queen in uh, getting where she needs to go or he uses it there I apologize so here comes the bowlers out of it he still has his barb king ability I think he popped it just now so and uh, he's got plenty left there's no real there's no more splash damage besides this mortar which will not be a problem and now it's just a matter of cleaning all of it up bowlers and plenty of skeletons plenty of witches and we'll hurry it up here in the end because this is going this is a long video i have I think nine attacks to show you guys. So the good thing about it not being AWL is I get to show all the attacks I want to. So great job to kill a mockingbird. Uh, nice attack there. Next one we're gonna look at is uh, from Oscar Kitten. And he hits number eight. And he does a queen walk with a mass hog Let's see here. Drops his queen, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, he realized that that um, Grand Warden tower was going to take out all of his healers if he put them all in the same place. So he actually saved his uh, the rest of his healers to prevent the Grand Warden from taking them out. So he's got to peck in some wizards in here, cleaning up, helping with the funneling. Um, there is a he drops the rage for the um uh the help the queen stay up i don't i really don't know i guess he was trying to get into that core to take that stuff out with those um the uh the wall breakers but he didn't really need them to be honest with you he wasted he dropped some cc hogs that got taken out still has his archer queen with her ability barb king comes down pops has to pop that ability because of the uh, the archer queen there but he gets her taken out so now here come his hogs and they're going to path nicely as you as you'll watch uh, i think they take out this cannon and then funnel right into the core so nice heel placement there still has a freeze left i think oscar kitten forgot about the freeze and didn't use it in the end so i probably would have used it at the end of this attack here but a, a healer on the grand warden healer on the archer queen and at this point this base is wrecked they're just the, just a matter of getting the hogs through I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my stomach's rumbling. It's lunchtime. 
taking out this stuff. Speed it up a little bit. See, I'd have used the freeze on maybe that wizard tower or something. But got enough for cleanup. Still has an archer queen and his grand warden. And there goes the town hall. And that's all she wrote for that base. Really nice attack there, Oster Kitten. Uh, fun attack. Uh, really nice queen walt there to get everything cleared out and then moving on. So the next one we're going to look at is number seven by Hafid. Hafid is uh, used by Barky, our leader. It's his attack, it's his base, or his uh, uh, account. So Hafid uses an electro dragon to help with the funnel. Great use there, as you can see, clearing out this space uses an earthquake and then he does, I call it an icy bowler attack with uh, mass hogs. And you'll see here in a minute, drops this troop carrier to help with the funnel. Here come the ice golems. And they're going to get in here and rip this base up. And he's got 26 hogs left, so he's got a nice a nice um, kill squad here to get into this base, take out this uh, Eagle artillery. Only shoots a couple of times before it's gone. Get in, getting in here, tearing this base up. And now he's got great pathing for his hogs. Uh, he knows exactly where they're going, um, which is important. He's doing a good job of of dropping them strategically so that they're not all scattering because he mass dropped them. See, the, the they come right together on that heel, and now you know exactly where they're going. He's got one heel left, and I think he's going to use it on this Inferno Tower here. Yes, he does. Take out that Inferno Tower, taking out this uh, Cannon and Archer Tower, and he's got plenty left. For the few defenses, all he's got left there are an expo and uh, this wizard tower. And I mean, it's this base is wrecked at this point. So great job on the the nice attack. I've never been the biggest fan of earthquakes, but that's coming from a town hall nine perspective because you tend to lose your your poison spells uh, when you do an earthquake. But that was a fun attack. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Good job taking out that base uh, there, Hafid. So next one we're going to look at is number six, and this is from Gobslayer. Gobslayer hits this with a Queen Walk Bow Witch attack. I don't think he Queen Walks very far. Uh, if I recall correctly, when I was going over these bases, he may... Couple of a wizard on that mortar just helps with the funnel there. Oh yeah, here we come. Here come the bowlers and the witches. And I'm gonna tell you this: this wall wrecker gets way deep in this base, considering everything that's in front of it. Um, the queen walk was just to help with that little bit of the funnel there. I think she's gonna walk around this edge here, which will help her clean this trash up on the outside. And you see this wall wrecker just getting in there. Gets caught by the tornado trap. Uh, and drops the heel. Bowlers are on that town hall, so it doesn't really... The good news was that it, the bowlers never really went in that town hall section. So that the, uh, the gigabomb never did anything to them. So that was really nice. Pops the Barb King ability here, but as you can see, he has a ton of cleanup left. A um, ton of stuff to clean up this base with. Lots of skellies, lots of bowlers. I think this Inferno Tower is going to take him out, but that's okay. Has a couple of Valks left. Still has his Archer Queen with her ability. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. Freezes that Inferno Tower, and that was a really well planned. I don't know if he planned it that way, but the execution was was really well done. Great attack there, uh, Gobslayer. 
Next, we're going to look at Pennyroyal. Pennyroyal, excuse me, does a boho uh, with the Stone Slammer. And really great use of funneling and everything here. Drops a P.E.K.K.A. to help clear out that side. Has a jump. And here come the bowlers and the wall wrecker. That is a wall. I thought that was a stone slammer. I've, anyway, sorry about that. So, excuse my wife messaging me. She tells me she loves me. That's always important. Especially when she lets you play a game that she hates. So, here come the bowlers. Rage comes down. Freeze on the balloons. Wall wrecker getting through. I think there's an ice golem and some Valkyries there. Uh, freezes everything. Let's see how all of this stuff does. He's going to have several balloons. Oh, he's going to have a Tesla farm. Balloons gone. Pops that Grim Warden ability. And here come the hogs. Now he has uh, three heals, but he's got great pathing. So he knows where everything is going. Um, he's going to drop the heal there on that Tesla farm. Drops the heal there. They're going to get in a uh, nice strategic dropping to path them all in where you want them to go. Uh, that low level Inferno Tower and that low level um, uh, Town Hall aren't going to do a whole lot. Giant Bomb, but the heal was in the perfect place. And then interestingly here, actually rages this last section, as you'll see with his, uh, with his hogs. Um, you don't normally see hogs on a rage, under rage, but uses them. Look how many hogs he has left. Goodness, Penny Royal has left. Goodness gracious. There is a, pardon my French, a crap ton of hogs left. Now he hits a spring trap and throws a, about five of them, but that's okay. And then finally, there is a builder hut. And that minion takes out the builder hut. I don't know what the Archer Queen was doing. She uh, obviously was pretty dumb there. So... Last, uh, last two, we're going to look at Steve here. Steve hits uh, a cool attack here. He uses, um, oh, that's the wrong one. I apologize. I wanted to show this one because you don't normally see this one. This is Steve's attack on number four. Uh, Steve uses a clone spell with some balloons here. And what Steve is trying to do is take out all of this stuff. Uh, drops the, the rage, and then here comes the clone, clones these balloons. Not only does it help with pathing, but it helps with um, just getting rid of this section that could be really frustrating. I'm trying to remember where he comes in next. So, uh, drops a couple of hogs to draw out the clan castle. Lots of witches and everything. Which is which won't be a problem, you know. If you're like a town hall nine or something, that could be an issue. But it's not an issue. You see all the skeletons. That baby dragon's going to help take out all that mess. Um, wizard there. Wizard's gone. A couple of witches there. They're going to take out the the baby dragon eventually. But drops of poison that takes everything out. The rest, the heroes take out the rest of it. One little witch, she's not going to do anything. And all this does is just provide pathing for the hogs, which is important. You got to know where they're going, as I point out all the time. If you don't know where your hogs are going, your attack's probably not going to go very well. So here comes hogs, drops a whole heap of them. And what this does is it paths them right into the core, as you can see. Uh, it lets him drop that heel right there. Now there's a Tesla farm in the core with the town hall. Not a problem. Has the Grim Warden. Which will, I think he pops the ability here. No, not yet. Maybe over here. There it is. Okay, save those hogs. Has a few wizards on cleanup up there. Just getting through all this muck and mess. Last heel to, to save the majority of his hogs. 
Uh, nothing left that's going to be a problem besides that Inferno Tower. That's a single target Inferno Tower, which is not a problem for hogs. Really nice attack there. Let's speed it up for the cleanup. Hogs get caught in, the, in, a, uh, in a tornado trap. No trouble there. And finally, just cleaning everything up. Really, really, really well done. I loved using the stone slammer with the, the clone, just tearing everything up. And then finally, we're going to look at Turtle, 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 for anybody that's seen Master of Disguise. And Turtle does a queen walk with mass hogs, drops the balloon to, st uh, to tank for the air traps. Pekka comes down to help with the funneling. And this queen walk goes a long way. As you will see. Has the stone slammer. That is a stone slammer there. I'm pretty sure. Rage comes down to help protect the archer queen. There's a lot pounding on her. Uh, she's going to walk around. Which is exactly what you want her to do. That stone slammer got caught on. A tornado trap, but that's not a tro That's not a problem. It's going to take out this inferno tower. There's a Pekka in that stone slammer with an ice golem. Uh, he'll turtle will rage that Pekka up, and it will actually take out the eagle artillery, and it goes straight for it. So uh, really lucky there for whatever reason. Um, so now, once again, talking about pathing. Uh, really nice pathing set up for the hogs. Dropping them in, sprinkling them in, so they're not all going at the same place at the same time. Grim Warden's down. Gonna pop that ability soon. Getting into the core, drops the heel. Here comes the Barb King into the core. Freezes the Town Hall Inferno. Should be going down soon, maybe. And more hogs in the core. There's the Grand Warden ability. Save those hogs. Taking everything out. Not much left on this base. It's going to be much of a problem. Plenty of hogs, plenty of cleanup. Archer Queen still running around. And that's going to be all she wrote. Especially with those healers uh, keeping that Barb King up. There goes a whole mess of... Uh, um, excuse my wife. She's pregnant. A whole mess of uh, bar barbarians. So, uh, just has a, a, a builder hut and then this um, elixir storage here. And that will go down with one swing of the sword and three stars so really great war um really fun uh i'll still be bringing war recaps even though i'm not uh going to be doing regular week wars looking forward to cwl coming up in a couple of weeks and the um the uh clash files family friendly between k2 and k farm that's coming up next month so this is Wade from K Farm House wishing everyone uh, uh, a good time in, in future wars. Stay warm, everybody. It's cold. And clash on, everybody.